guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are still talking about philippine history 1097 and today we will be talking about advantages and disadvantages of an archipelago shape and regional divisions and <coughs> sorry my, wait sorry and anyways i think i will be mm -hmm. mentioning some of the like regions, like I think these two pages. Okay, let's get started. Our country's archipelago shape enables us to have several fishing areas. Regionalism is not a problem in an archipelago. United, uniting people becomes hard. That's true. Our coastal areas have boosted the country's tourism industry. Geograph geographical barriers hinder the flow of trade and communication. The Philippines is divided into administrative subdivisions called regions. Regions are groupings of provinces that have similar culture and ethnic characteristics. The autonomous regions are composed of geographic areas sharing a common and distinctive history historical and cultural heritage the economic and social structure and the economic and social structures the government of the autonomous regions have broad powers except the national de defense security banking trade and the foreign affairs here okay hold on sorry um as I said, here are some factors considered in regionalization. Geographical balance, socioeconomic socio conditions, political administration, and trans transportation patterns. In determining the regional centers, three areas were taking account into account in the degree of urbanization urbanization, economic and servicing capacities that links to the national capital, capital and to other regions of the country, and strategic and convenient, convenient, sorry, strategic and convenient location along land and water transportation routes. Okay, and now I will be t I will be telling you what regions in what these region what what these um provinces are in regions. Okay. In Region 1, there is Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur, La Union, and Pangasinan. Pangasinan is where my grandparents live. My, my mom's. My mom's side. I, I just wanted you guys to know that. Anyways, in Region 2, there is Batanes, Cagayan, Isabela, Nue, Nue, Nueva, Nueva, Nueva Ecija, no, not Nueva Ecija, Nueva Vizcaya, Nueva is Vizcaya, and Quirino, Quirino, Quirino. Region 3, there is Aurora, Bataan, Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, Pampanga, Tarlac, and Zambales. Um, and then, in Region 4A, there is Batangas, Cavite, Laguna, Quezon, and Rizal. And in Region 4B, there is Occident Occidental, Occidental Mindoro, Ox Oriental Mindoro, Marinduque, Rom Romblon, Romblon, Romblon? Romblon and Palawan. Palawan is like this little island here. 
And it's really, it's really, it's really good. I've been there. I think I've been there before. I feel like I've been there before. I definitely have, I feel like. Anyway, any, anyways, in Region 5, there is Al Albay, Camarines Norte, Camarines Sur, Catanduanes, Cantaduanes, Cantaduanes. Cantaduanes, Masbate, and Sorsogon. Sorsogon. Uh, the regions, all all of all the regions from one to five are Ilocos, Cagayan Valley, Central Luzon, Calabarzon, Mi Mimaropa, and Bicol. All right. Thank you for listening and watching my video. Bye! See you on the next!